you know, very simple in what is it experientially like with an open center? No one there. <laughs> it's so good. meaning it's what you've always wanted because it's you know we come into this into this body into this life to celebrate the uniqueness of who we are and to give that away to all beings in our own uniqueness whatever that is there is no right way it's unique you know it's um, a million people a million ways that's a great teaching from Ananda Moya Ma, if anyone knows who she is. One of the great Christed beings that walked the earth. But what is always the same, it's the same living spirit that comes through without the hindrance of past and dances and expresses themselves uniquely, whatever that is. You know, we hear old uh, Sufi tales of, you know, these realized beings, you know, and they're filthy and ragged and toothless and play with their feces and, you know, that's that. That's how that looks. Now, you're probably happy that I don't do that. <laughs> I like try to, you know, clean up a little bit. <laughs> but it's that same freedom, I guess. So when it's empty, you know, you aren't just so wrapped up into, you know, whatever it is that you're defining and compensating and projecting. And then the joke is you can do that freely, the uniqueness of what you are. So it's in the letting go that the spirit can come and, and be and express. And it isn't set up anymore as it used to be where, you know, if you woke up, then, you know, you had to go to a hut somewhere and, you know, wear these little white things and people climbed up and asked questions. It's a scientist, it's an academic, it's an artist, it's a poet, it's a housekeeper. You know, it's someone who takes care of someone who's dying. It's a therapist, it's a dancer, it's a whatever it wants to be. 